Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. It's been a little while since I've recorded one of these, and I honestly don't remember what I did last time, so we're just gonna play Isaac. I'm not gonna bother hitting random, just because I feel like it's been a while since we've played Isaac. And, I mean, I know it's been a while since I've played the game, but you guys mean what I know. So, uh, here's the seed for those who want to play along. Almost forgot. All right, now, as we were. Get a key, not bad. <sighs> Man, I have been doing so much commentary recently. All of the weapon showcases, guys. All of the weapon showcases. Let me tell you, there's a lot of them. <laughs> I have about 10, I believe, now to be put up whenever. They're just waiting on the proper day, and this way I'm still able to uh, have a nice backlog of them. Take a day off from time to time. That probably should have hit me. Um, uh, whatever. I'm not going to complain. I, sp I see that tinted rock over there. I'm getting it. Oh, if I was in the right position, I could have pushed that into it. Oh well. The secret room could be here. Probably not, and I don't think this is going to be able to get both of them, but I'm going to try it. Nice. I'll give you two. No more. You had your chance. At least I got one back. And a half heart. Can't complain about that. Now let's check out our item room and see what we've got. Halo of Flies. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm totally taking that. I am about that. Two orbitals, they uh, block tears and kill flies. I'm very, very happy to have that. It's a good item. It's a very nice item to pick up. Because, of course, the more orbitals you have, the less likely you are to get hit. And starting off with two, essentially right off the bat, is just a great thing to have happen. Aw, oh, come on, you jerk. Gurglings wouldn't stop walking towards me. There's nothing I could do about it. Yeah, you just keep staying away from me. You're gonna run. Any day now we'll actually take them out. Whew, got that one just in time. And one more hit. There's the last of them. The screw, tears, and shot speed up. More of a shot speed up than a tears up. But still worth taking. Not worth the reroll. I guess I'm saving it for the next floor. So hopefully I don't take damage. I don't want to lose my devil room chance. So uh, I'd like to find a tinted rock sooner rather than later. Or even a, just a random soul heart lying on the ground. That'd be okay with me. A black heart maybe. I was hoping I wouldn't have to do this large room beforehand, but such is not my luck. I'll probably be fine. I probably won't get hit in here. I hope I don't get hit in here. <laughs> I've got orbitals, so I mean, I've got that going for me. But otherwise, it's actually kind of easy to get hit here. If you're not paying attention to everything, you could accidentally move into a tier, which I find to be the main cause of me getting hit. Now this is worth the re-roll. However, I, uh, I don't know how many rooms I've got left on this floor, so I'm going to wait. Because that's the safer choice. Same reason why I'm waiting on the pill. I don't want it to be a bad trip, and then I lose my devil room chance in a silly way. That would be less than ideal. So... I will wait until after the boss and after I get my devil room to uh, check things out. Same for getting that card, playing it safe. Something I don't typically do. I totally could have re-rolled that, but whatever. Had I known the floor would go on for so much longer, I would have played differently. Whew. Good. 
And there's the boss. Nice and simple. Hopefully the boss is not annoying. Monstro. Fantastic. Now hopefully one of those random tiers just doesn't get me. Because, you know, sometimes it looks like they're going to miss. And then you end up getting hit anyway. These things happen. It's nothing that un... Usual. It's nothing that strange. And so far, so good. Oh, orbitals, thank you. Because I would have walked right into that. <laughs> Use the bomb to finish it off. Just because we can. Ah, old bandage. I'm going to wait on picking that up. I'm going to wait. Oh. Hi. Well, I wish I hadn't waited. Do I want a nice, simple brimstone run, guys? Do I? I'm going to flip a coin. Where's my penny? I usually have a penny around here for situations like this. Um. Yeah, screw it. We're taking it. Stay open. Good. Good job, game. Thanks for listening. I honestly didn't expect that to happen. So now we'll go back and we will... <clears throat> oh my god. I went to look at the map and see where the item room was, and I just didn't look where I was going. Okay. <laughs> Let's try this again. Let's try this again with less failure in my life. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That was a run that was essentially just handed to me. Like, I would have been in perfect shape. Range down, that's not what we need. How to lose an Isaac run 101. Don't look where you're going. Run, don't walk. Black Candle. That's a fantastic item to find on the first floor. Curse Immunity. And a Black Heart, which we're probably going to lose, honestly. Because I'm bad and I should feel bad. And I am well aware of that situation. <laughs> I can't believe I just did that, though. Ugh. You know, honestly, it's almost worth losing the black heart in this room just to speed it up. But I'm not going to. I'll be patient. I won't play recklessly. And I'll pay attention to where I'm walking from now on, I think. For at least this run. Well, I've got that in mind. <laughs> no guarantees for next run. Won't make any promises. There we are. I'm getting a fair bit of keys. I'm kind of happy about that. Gotta break all the poops. You never know what you'll find. Speaking of breaking poops. An item we most certainly will not be keeping. So, let's reroll it. A little chubby. Okay. I'm willing to take that. It's better than the alternative of, you know, not taking it. Can that bomb get that? I mean, if I put the bomb inside... Then I can get it. Because that'll blow up and it'll be a little chain reaction. And that fly just got sucked in there. That's annoying. And I even got my bomb back. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. 
Good. Little Chubby is fantastic for segmented enemies. Very useful. Whoop. Hi there, Larry Jr. Don't mind me. I'm just passing by. As I was saying, fantastic for segmented enemies. And we got Meat, which is a .3 damage up, if I recall correct. And a health up. So we've got a good start. Not as good as, you know, Brimstone and Gimpy. But it is what it is. Okay, break that. Good. Alright, not terribly useful. And the range down pill again. Fine. Fine. I'll wait. I'll find the PhD somewhere or something like that. Wow. I don't know how that trite did not hit me. I was kind of hoping that would be a bomb. I wanted to blow that up. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, come on. Way to be a jerk. Way to be a jerk. I don't appreciate when that happens. It's not high on the list of things that I like in my life. It's actually quite low on that list. I feel like I'm in this room all the time. I feel like it's one of the more common rooms I find. And that's not necessarily a good thing. Come on. Just hit with the tears. Stop being bad. It's a good thing I saved the bomb. Because now we've got all the keys we could ever ask for. And another segmented boss. I'm actually very happy that it's not the haunt. Pin, why are you coming out of angles like that? That's not right. Behave yourself. I miss the good old days when Pin could kill himself. They were good times. Not for Pin, of course. But for me. Squeezy. Tears up. 0.7 tears up, if I recall correct. Little Brimstone, don't want it. Fear Shot, do want it. And I believe that's also a 1 damage up, if I recall correct. Don't quote me on that. So now enemies will run away from me. And I've locked in my Devil Room chance, which is exactly why I wanted to do that. Yes, yeah, so you come up here, and now you run away. Good. Speed up, okay. I'm okay with this. That soul heart right there is something I would like. A bomb would be something I'd like to see soon. I mean, I technically could always just go buy one. I've got the money for it. I'm gonna wait. I'm going to wait, because if I go to the shop, which I most likely will, there's a high chance I'm gonna do this, because I make bad decisions. It wasn't worthwhile, for the record. Uh, but yeah. There's a high chance, at least I believe there is, that I'll find a battery. And when I find said battery, I will purchase it, and I'll get a reroll, and I'll buy that soul heart as well. And now, I'll reroll it. For the $3 bill, it's an item that I don't really ever take anymore. It gives you random tier effects for a room, so... It can be good or it can be bad. It can be a great boon or it can royally screw you over. So let's have a little fun, shall we? Oh, well, it's not every day I walk into this room and find an item, so I mean, I might as well. So yeah, double shot for the room, as I said. It can do very nice things for you. Aw, I walked right into it. I walked right into that one, too. So what was I saying earlier about actually starting to watch where I'm going? <laughs> and we did get that speed up pill, so that's why I'm more than okay with taking it. Because it's pretty much just going to offset it with our speed down, and I don't think it's really a big deal. 
I'm liking this double shot every room thing that we've got going on, uh, $3 bill. Can we keep that up? It's kind of something I like. Just kind of. Whoa. Okay, double key room I'm considering. I'm definitely considering going in there. Could be good. I want to find the item room first. Oh, see, this is why it can be bad at times. Because I just got number one and have, like, no range. Ah, uh, you know, that's actually a good item. I'm going to take it. I guess I'll take this, too. Yes, give me all of the double shot. I like the double shot. I guess we'll go to the double key room. We might as well see what it has for us. The number four. That's a D6 for the floor, if I recall correct. Not affecting devil or angel rooms. So that's pretty much useless to me, actually. Oh, mom's contacts. I mean, if I get if I get enough money for the shop, then yes, it'll be worthwhile to use it. And I can use it for the boss item as well, but otherwise, it's really nothing I need. I mean, I could always bomb for shop goodies. That is an option. Whoa. I'm going to bomb these just to see what I get. Might get a magic mushroom. I didn't. I could have. It's a possibility. I don't have a key. I could I could use a key. Hint hint game. And more double shot in my life. I like I like this. Double dingle, oh boy. Oh yes, tooth shot for the room. So nice. Ugh. If I could stop running into everything, that would be a good thing to do. My nose itches. Like, really, really bad. <laughs> this is annoying. This is so annoying. Okay. <laughs> We're good. Ah. No! I will not lose my Devil Room chance. I refuse. Dingle, don't be such a jerk. Just die. Good. I didn't even get the double room anyway. Alright, well, I guess we'll take the box. Might as well. Balls of steel, nice. Purity, that'll get rid of a floor uh, curse and give me a soul heart, so I might as well use it now. And the missing page. I mean, sure. Why not? So, with our newly found key, let's go take a look at the shop, see what we can find. The Bible. I see. I'm going to buy it just so I don't have to see it again. Silly me, I need to actually bomb for money. Now I have to bomb all of the things and get all of the money, preferably 20 cents. That would be ideal. Because then I can uh, buy the battery and the BOGO bombs and reroll an extra time. Give me five cents. Come on, donation machine. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Really, I totally was not touching that game, you lie. Give me another five cents. Close enough. And this is why I lose progress on my donation my donation machine. So let's re-roll once. Taking the key. I'm buying boom because five bombs are rather remote detonator. I'm buying this, I'm re-rolling it, and I'm taking there's options. So, I mean, I guess that worked out well enough. 
So now when I open chests, there will be a ton of stuff inside of them. We really won't have any need to worry about consumable items ever again. And just for the sake of it, I'm going to finish off this floor just because we might get a chest or two. I'm feeling lucky. I am, in fact, feeling a little bit lucky. That's annoying. Go back in and out to reset them. Makes life easier for getting in and out of the room. Wow, I'm bad. I'm bad and I feel bad. Alright, well, I guess it really wasn't that worthwhile. Let's see if we can find the secret room. It's not there. Ah, oh, I would have been able to tell that if I checked this room. Shame on me. Book of Secrets. So that's actually something we can reroll. Yay. So let's go back over to that number four room. Go step on this, pick up my penny, and go check out what that changed into. Ah, it had to be the forget me now. It just had to be that. Oh well. Alright, let's break these poops and get out of here. Doesn't seem like you can get any drops from poops in boss rooms anymore. Okay, thanks for the uh, double rooms on each side, game. You're a cool dude. Thanks for the scythes, though. I'm... Okay, I'm actually being serious. You are a cool dude. Let's just keep them. Or not. You know, that's, that's fine, too. Although trading sides for uh, tough love, that's a tough call, which one I'd like to have more. If I had more luck, I'd probably say tough love with no doubt in my mind, but I don't have more luck, so that's a hard... Oh, I've got proptosis. Didn't even notice that at first. Balls of steel, cool. Whoop. Pretty fly, nice. Good to have. Let's blow up these three. Nothing. All of the double rooms, do I have the uh, contract from below or something? Like, seriously, what's up with this game? Double rooms, four days. Whoa! <laughs> that was, uh... <laughs> that was a bit scary. Didn't expect it. But seriously, though. All of the doubles. Okay, you need to go... for the other ones. Start. Acting up. Yes, run, flee, cower in fear, for I am fearsome, and unable to dodge things. Shears, fantastic item, not better than the D6, although I will totally be taking them, wow, okay, I'm bad, I will totally be taking them to the room that's to the right, and, uh, not to the right of here, but to the room with the chest in it that's on the map right there. I'm going there with the shears because that's a bunch of free items that I can get. Okay, game, way to be cruel and drop the battery on that. The reason I picked up the battery, there is a battery in this room uh, over here. And I'll be able to push it. Wait, no, I won't because I'm using the shears. Duh. 
I'm I'm smart. I can think. Well, I guess we'll pick it up, cause why not? Hot bombs. Okay, I'll take those. Ah, I've got the uh, fire mind tears. Could use some more damage, game. Like that'd be a nice thing. I would enjoy it. What do we got? Uh. Hmm. I might be back. Maybe. We will see. I can do this. Nothing. Stop getting hit, Andrew. Stop being bad. Range up, cool. The Fallen, I shouldn't have gone here just yet. I don't have a reroll for the Devil Room and there's no guarantee it'll stay open. Oh, the lack of planning is real. And Proptosis. I'm not getting a Devil Room here anyway, who am I kidding? Oh. I see, game. Well, I could take the shadow, kill myself, get a very nice damage up, which I was just complaining about, or I could take Guppy's head and become one-third Guppy, re-roll it, and hopefully it re-rolls into another Devil Room item. Yeah, I don't think that's really much of a question. Because if it does re-roll into another Devil Room item, then, well, I mean, it could be another Guppy piece. Or something great. Who knows? I don't. <sighs> Orbitals. Saving my life. Not really, just saving that little heart. That's, that's fine. I'll do it. I'll go in. I'll bite. I wish I hadn't. Tempting. I might consider that in time. I don't really have many uh, hearts laying around, otherwise I'd consider using the blood donation machine to lower my health and check out what's in the boss challenge room. I don't think that's very worthwhile at this point in time. I'm going to blow this guy up. Pinky eye. Definitely more worthwhile. Poison tears occasionally. Don't remember how often it is, but poison tears occasionally. So, I can work with that. All right. I can use that pill to get into the boss challenge room. I just thought of that. Alright, so we touched it once. Let's re-roll it. Didn't I see that? Oh, wait, that was the last run. Do I want that, though? I'm not really sure that I want that. Okay, we're going to buy the battery. And we're going to go back. You know, game, you're mean. Mean, mean, mean. I'm just going to use this now. And I guess I'll pick this up. And I might get another one, and I can use it in the boss challenge room and get health back. Oh, telepills. Well, I guess that's fine. It took me near where I wanted to go. I'm doing it. Because I had a feeling it would pay out well, and it did. Whew. Lucky dodge is lucky. Proptosis is not helping me out because my range is short and the... I almost got pulled into the blood.
At least it's a nice damage up. In a way. That all being said, I could definitely go for more damage. More range, as well. Well, that's the floor. Let's see what we've got in the next. And actually, let's check out what's in the shop again. I want to see what those items are. I didn't honestly look at what they were. I see. Come on, just stay behind the machine. Like so. Come on, go around it. I'm just going to blow him up just in case. Because you never know. Because you never know. Telepills, tears down. Health up. Cool. So it was worth re-rolling because I got a health up pill anyway. I am in a room. No. Had to check. Had to try. Had to hope. Homing tears for the room. Nice. Too bad there was nothing there for me to use them on. Honestly, I love the idea of this item. The $3 bill. But I don't find it to be a good item in most cases. Okay, we got the hands, the wall masters. I remember in The Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, the Wallmasters and the Force Temple, when I was younger, those things freaked me out. Like, really bad. Whoop, watch out. Hey, you just go into that fire. Thank you. I appreciate that. Don't you go invisible on me. Whew. Just barely got out of there in time. All of the things. Mom's key is seriously one of the best items in this game. That's good enough. That is definitely good enough. Very nice profit on that. Could have been better, of course, but I won't complain. Ah, I didn't realize I was stuck on the uh, on the hole. Okay, this bee licker is seriously annoying me. All that for nothing. That's fine. We'll find what we're looking for soon enough. Way to dodge. I'm so good at this game. There we go. A beggar. 
and more importantly, a tinted rock. No small rock out of ten. I'll come back for you, maybe. Bad at dodging, so bad at dodging. And I can even shoot through things at the moment, yet I'm still failing. Through rocks, that was what I was trying to say. Not things as in enemies, but things as in rocks. Obstacles. Things that are in my way that are non-living. Whoop. Yeah, there was there was nothing I could have done there. The only thing I could have done there was to not be there. And being here, and enemies coming above and below me. Yeah. It just wasn't a realistic thing to have happen in that situation. Keepers. And wallmasters. Oh, I walked into it. No. I walked right into it. Well, that's a shame. A little bit of backtracking. Got to redo the room. We're going to go up instead for now. This room is annoying. Too many of these enemies. Just my opinion. It's fine, though, since I do have fear shot. Everything works in my favor. Because they're, they're terrified of me. I mean, I'd be pretty scared if there was someone trying to kill me by crying on me. Especially if they had a candle stuck in their head like I do. And had set themselves on fire. Yeah. Scary stuff. Um... I don't know if I want that. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> There's a three cent battery, so, you know. I'm okay with this decision. And I'll go back, and I'll... Do I want the battery, though? I'll wait to see if there are enough rooms for another reroll, and then we'll decide. Triple shot for the room, cool. My triple shot is better than your double shot. What are you going to do about it? The answer to the question? Die. I never really noticed it until somewhat recently, but if you look at these enemies, that thing that they're shooting out, it's actually their head. See what I mean? I always thought that was kind of silly. Well, we didn't get enough, clearly. I honestly didn't expect to. So we're going to go back, we're going to buy the battery. The battery. And uh, hopefully, uh, you know, have a good time on the boss. War. As expected. As it should be. Why don't just run into me, War?
that bomb just poison him, or am I imagining things? Why are you so fast? Don't you dare touch me again. I'll take this. I'll go in here. The knife. Hmm. No. Oh, that's tough. Ebadon is nice to get. I don't think this is a good idea. I really don't. Trading my uh, red hearts for black hearts. I'm gonna leave, see if I can get the battery, and it, it does not stay open, so never mind. I was hoping that I'd be able to leave, have it stay open, I'd be able to walk back, get the battery, come back to it, buy Abaddon, re-roll. Although that wouldn't have worked well either, considering Abaddon gets rid of... I already bought the battery, what am I talking about? 1am recording. It's not even a 2am recording like normal, and I'm already just gone. My mind must already be asleep without me. I could have just taken the knife. Had a nice easy run through the rest of the game. I could have done it. But that's not what we're doing. It's less fun that way anyway. The only reason I did that first run with Brimstone was because, I mean, come on. How could I not? Did I gain anything from that? Not really. Honestly, it would actually be pretty smart to, uh, yeah, I'm doing. I didn't think those were the same pill. In fact, I got them backwards. And I'll carry this with me, I suppose. Yay, homing shots. Well, I did take red heart damage already, so it's not like going in here matters. Okay, Pandora's box on Necropolis 2 is... Two boss room items and soul hearts? No, that's, that's the 20 coins one. So, 40 coins. It was a bit of a waste. And now we know. I always forget what Pandora's box does, when and where, and... Hi, little Chad. See, there's the PhD that I'm looking for, guys. Still didn't profit with that. <laughs> I was hoping. I'll do this. Okay, we got a range up to counter that range down pill we got earlier. So we are balanced, more or less. Whoop. Good, a double heart drop. Exactly what I needed to... Oh, hi there. Can you not exist? Thank you. Way to just walk into things. 
I am bad today. I mean, I realize this is my first time playing Isaac in about a week. But, man, <laughs> I am bad. Gotta get back to playing daily pins. And needles. Whoa. I don't know why I just didn't expect Pin to jump out right there. Like, I knew it would. I just didn't expect it. That was lucky. More than anything else. I'll do it. I need a soul heart. Basement. That's actually cool. It gives you a hint like that. Uh, if you go to put in a seed and type in basement like that, then you get a special seed. Which, the special seeds in this game are pretty cool, in all honesty. Like, it was a really good concept. I enjoy it. And the basement seed is just silly. Like, it's just silly. There's no, n there's no need for that. Other than to be silly. Oh, wonderful. And that's why I need more range for when that happens. Whoop, no, no. See, this was one chest. Like, mom's key, OP. Good, double shot right here. That's what I need in my life. And a red mom fight, nice and simple. Not bad, I could just stand here and be fine. No devil room though, I thought I earned it. Huh. Guess not, oh well. Let's move on. And I'm gonna stretch. <sighs> and you on. Okay. Let's go down, because down is the wrong direction. I'll take it, just because. Let's try a left. I don't know why I didn't just move. Oh, there was blood there. So this run is not in good shape, in case you couldn't tell. <laughs> Especially considering I'm just running into everything that moves. <laughs> oh man. Magic. That's all I'm saying. Magic. didn't see that there was still blood there. I just didn't see it. That's a range up. I think. Yes. Stella pills, pretty fly. And that's Stella pills as well, then. 
All right, let's find something. Good, it sent us back in the right direction. That's what we need. The tick. Hmm. Bosses would spawn with 15% less health. Not sure that's a good idea, actually. Because I've got a half heart interval, and when you go into a boss room, it heals you half of a heart. So, uh, you know. It's kind of silly that they just roll into it. Polycephalus. Was that worth it? Kinda. Because polycephalus can be annoying. And I don't like annoying things like this uh, gravity champion. I mean, it's a cool idea and it's a great concept, but man, they are annoying. Always worth checking. All right, what do we got? Conquest. An item to reroll. For sure. Thanks, Conquest. You're a cool dude. Aw, oh, man. Well, GG Devil Room Chance. It was nice knowing you. I'm not shocked to see you go. Yeah, I'm just going to reroll both of them. Damage and range up. Definitely better than just a standard standalone damage up. Because, I mean, why would I just take one when I can have both? And I believe they're both a one damage up, so I don't think I really made a bad decision there. Can I just get a chest with an item in it? Once, maybe? <laughs> you know, maybe a Max's head or something. Max's head. Cricket's head. <sighs> I started thinking original Isaac here for a second. Whoops. Oh well. Oh. I just didn't even see the blood. I wasn't even looking. I'm bad. I am bad. I saw it that time. No tinted rock. Fine. Maybe this way? No. Definitely not this way.
this familiar was not dropping flies for me, I would be so dead by now. Dropping hearts. <laughs> oh man. Where's my head at? Not in the game, clearly. Well, proptosis is a very, very bad thing for me to have here, to say the least. So, we'll see how this goes. If I had to guess, I'd say probably not all that well. Though I can pretty much just face tank thanks to my orbitals. So, that is nice. Like, look at that. Look at that. Let's get a little closer to it. Look at that face tanking. Look at that pro strat face tanking. That is just silly. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> Who needs the mask of infamy? I can just walk right up and tank it all with my three orbitals. Now if I stopped running into everything, I'd probably actually have a shot at winning this run. Okay, well, that's not the right direction. Let's try right. It's proven to be a good way to go so far. Ah. Well, no, 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 no. Whew. That was close. I'm going to wait to pick that up until I've got another one because Polaroid Invincibility is a good enough reason. Alright, well, right is the wrong direction. So we'll have to go left next, because clearly left is the best direction that there is due to the fact that I am left-handed and I have a bias towards it. Fun. Super greed. Super dead. Don't even care. Nice. That's a good thing to have. Way to not dodge. Alright, we'll go back and pick up the other one. And now we're going to go up. Whew. Cube of meat really saved me with that one. Not so much there, though. What are you firing at? I'm not there. I'm over here. Oh, now I actually get hit? Fine. Be that way. Can you give me all this money I have no need for? I don't want your money. I want hearts. I want to live. Whew. That doesn't really help me at the moment. Because either way, I'm going to take damage and be in trouble. I guess I got a little bit too carried away with trusting my orbitals for a minute. 
And then I took damage, and now I'm in a bad spot and dead. Well, these things happen. Clearly, my head was not in the game tonight. I apologize. I tried, though. It's the thought that counts, right? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and all of my horrible failures that ensued throughout, and I will see you all next time.